Welcome to today's PvP challenge. In this video, Link and myself will only be able to start with the new Void Waker and Unlimited House teleports. We're able to kill any non-boss monster we'd like, but there's a twist. Every five monsters we kill, an inventory slot is blocked off. We can't skill with our drops, and we're able to stop the PvP challenge at any time we want if we feel our inventory is getting too full. We gear up, then we fight. This is going to be an interesting PvP challenge. It's the only PvP challenge, as far as I'm aware, that we can bring the starting weapon in the fight with us. So Link and myself are both guaranteed an amazing melee weapon and an amazing spec weapon. Just so happens to be the same weapon. This weapon is absolutely insane when it comes to comboing people out. You can back-to-back -back spec, and it's just... It's nutty. It's nutty. So... How do we avoid that from happening? I think, one, having the most amount of food is going to be crucial because specs can do a lot of damage and you could go through like six, seven food insanely fast if it doesn't end up killing you. And I also think keeping a distance from the really strong melee weapon is going to be crucial. So I think hybriding with magic and the Void Waker is going to be the best bet. Magic, relatively speaking, there isn't really too much gear you can get with magic, so... I don't think we'll need too many kills in my plan, and it ensures that we have a lot of leftover inventory spaces for food that we can bring to the fight. So, we're going to start by killing Black Demons in the Wildy for Blighted Super Restores, Blighted Food, and Ice Barrage Packs, because that's going to be crucial for our plan to save a lot of inventory spaces. Today I'm excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Clash of Clans, a game I used to play so often and have been again after recently discovering they were sponsoring the channel. Do you want to be the chief of a village? Well in Clash of Clans you can be. You can build your own village, customizing it in any way you want. You'll want to create your village to best defend against oncoming attackers to defend your resources and everything you've built. But don't be too alarmed, because you can get troops of your own and launch attacks on other villages, giving you plenty of rewards to help build your village even bigger than it was before. This is currently my village on my first day back in the game. I have a solid defense of cannons, an archer tower, and walls to fortify my resources. There is also an army I have readied up for an attack on a neighboring village. It's been a ton of fun playing a game I used to play so much years ago, so if you are interested in playing Clash of Clans yourself, it's completely free, and you can click the link down in the description to get started. Thanks again to Clash of Clans for sponsoring today's video. Hello, Bs and Gs. So today we have the Void Waker, but we're also going to be filling up inventory slots. Very interesting, very different, uh, very excited to get into it. Shall I say very more? We're going to go for a very interesting trip over to the revs. I think that's where I'm going to spend most of my time in the rev caves, just so we can get blighted food, blighted pots, um, and obviously a good chance of getting some good armor as well. The problem with starting with revs is that we don't have a bracelet and we've got no food on us. So I'm going to have to start with the lower end, lower tier, which might come back to bite me. I don't know. I'm going to try and kill the hobgoblin first, I think. <laughs> first drop, two rune kite shields. Yes, that's what we like to see. Okay, so my issue here is I'm just taking a mad amount of damage. Uh, There's going to be kill number two. Oh! Oh, it's anglerfish. It's anglerfish. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Let me see if I can get a third kill. Um, that's a really solid start. Really, really solid start. There we go. That's four kills. And we just get some rev effort, which is fine, because if we can get a bracelet, then we can start charging it. This is going to be our first locked. So we have lost an inventory space because we've killed five things now. What was that? Bind sacks? Not really that useful. I'd like to see some venge sacks. That would be really, really nice. There we go. Onyx bolt tips. Good good drop, but not what we want to see. Ooh, two more blighted anglerfish. Lovely. Oh, only one? Okay. Ooh, runite bar. Unfortunately, that is not going to be helpful. Love the vids. It's always scary when someone... TY, TY. When someone realizes that you are in the wilderness because there's a good chance they tell someone that pks and has your level so yeah always scary oh there's some manta ray another blighted oh two there we now have six eight we have nine food now so yeah food is getting really sorted to be honest we're getting close to the drop rate of the bracelet as well. This is going to be kill number 19. And the drop rate is 1 in 24. So, yeah, we're getting close. Oh, there's a vengeance sack. <laughs> Only one, unfortunately. But I will take it. 
Especially if we're going to be able to take these uh, Void Wakers into the fight. Timing that perfectly with one of his specs could be huge. That's 13 food now. That might be enough because I think I'm going to use about half an inventory. Uh, that's very helpful, actually. Thank you. Yeah, as I say, I think I'm going to use about half an inventory of food. So I think we're about sorted. I mean, obviously, I'd rather get anglers over mantas. Oh, there we go. There's another. There's a blighted manta ray. Lovely. So looking at the drop table here, anglerfish and manta rays are 1 in 8. The crambons and the bladed ice sack are 1 in 12. And the annoying one, the superstore, is unfortunately 1 in 24. But, uh, I mean, I would love to have a superstore in the fight, of course, but... I wouldn't really stay here for too long if I wasn't getting it, just because, you know, I, I could prayer flick. It'd be annoying, but I wouldn't I wouldn't waste too many kills and more inventory spots just for a super restore. Okay, that's your fifth kill, and I'm gonna, like, die. Oh, we get the super restore! We need to risk it. 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 Ah! I might die, but it's fine. I mean, oh, but it doesn't matter because we're one HP. We're one HP warriors. Okay, so that's your fifth kill. So we have this fancy plugin, and I'm using Malicious Ashes to block my inventory like that. So whatever monster I'm killing, I'll just pick up whatever base loot it has, like bones, ashes, whatever. And that's how, you know, the plugin works and that's how it blocks off the inventory slot. So that's five kills. One inventory slot is now blocked. To be honest, that was a pretty insane five kills. Six pieces of food and a super restore. Even a key half. Maybe we'll get the other half. And there's the first ancient ice sack. Now it could be one through ten. <sighs> Oh, so that ugh, this could be a bit annoying. I don't really know how much I need or want, which is the tricky part. I'm going to be hybriding, so it's not like I'm going to be far casting the entire fight, but I'd probably want more than 35 or 40 ish. Whoa, a rune full helm. Uh, totally not expected. It does give some negative magic. Is it negative two? Negative six. Oh my god, I always forget they, they updated these helms. Uh, I guess we could we could pop it on now, you know, extra defense if our prayer runs out or if I'm just really bad at flicking and miss flicks. But um, um, yeah, I guess we'll be bringing that to the fight. It'd be silly not to, especially when we have a great melee weapon that you know Link's gonna have as well. And then we get an adamant plate body and a vengeance sack. We, well, that's one. We actually do have six in the bank as well. Um, I mean, I'm not getting these these ice sacks, so I guess that could be a plan B. Bring. Vengeance in the fight. We're getting some melee gear now, but again, I don't want to go melee. It's kind of forcing me down melee. We're, we're still sticking with the ice plan, and we're going to see what we can do. I have enough food, by the way. I have 10 anglerfish, 5 manta rays, and 6 karam wands. Um, so that is just shy of a full inventory, but of course our inventory is going to start filling up anyway, so... Yeah, we definitely have enough. So it's it's literally just the ice I am holding out for right now. More sacks and it's eight of them. Finally, like a decent amount. Finally, a decent amount. Eight. I mean, that still ain't much. I only have, what is that now? Twelve. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So six inventory slots taken up. What I want to go do now is I want to get myself a strength ammy from Undead Druids. And then I will think about what I want to do. We have gone dry on the bracelet, which is a bit annoying. Ooh, air battle staff. I guess if we get some, like, a load of ice barrages, maybe I go for it. Now, I do have eight at the moment. That is five kills and another inventory slot taken up. Amulet of strength. Yes, it took six kills. That is exactly what we wanted to see. All right, I'm out of here. Lovely. Oh, I'm buzzing about that. There it is, the bracelet of Ethereum. Unreal stuff. Just going to go recharge all my stats, and then we will uh, go and kill the higher tier revenants now. I'm going to try the knight. I think the knight's the way to go. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm going to chuck protect from melee on. I don't know if that's going to help that much, but we will see. 75% damage reduction with the bracelet on. So we look like we're going to be okay here. Might just be a little bit too much. I think I will be able to get this kill, but I'll have to double spec. I don't think this is going to be consistent enough. And I've got PKs here as well. Like, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm about to get attacked. I can feel it. Oh, wow. Okay. No. Is this guy going to go for it? Yeah. Ugh. 
Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, this isn't gonna work. One HP. Bye. <laughs> uh how the plugin works guys i was using bones as uh bank or fillers so that's why they've all disappeared but they will be i'll get them back yeah so the revenant knight not possible so we're gonna have to drop down a tier it was nice that pk didn't attack me though you know although i sort of looked like i was doing some sort of bait so you know i can understand why you wouldn't right <laughs> we'll drop down a tier and we'll see if we can kill those and for those of you wondering, do I get my bracelet back? Uh, I do. We said any deaths, PK, PVM, doesn't matter. Uh, we get to keep everything we've had as drops. So, yeah, we're all good. Don't worry about that. That's the reason why I stayed and died. Um, yeah, let's go and kill. I think I'm going to kill Orcs. Revenant Orcs is the uh, is probably the, the, the good little middle ground. There we go. Our first kill. And we get four runite ore, not what I want to see. And that is eight inventory spaces taken up now. Oh, that might be better. I could probably mage with that. Oh, that's got to have like a minus 15. Oh, where am I going? Got to have like a minus 15 magic attack though. Oh my God, it does. Ugh. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know what to do. 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 Maybe I go range. This is, probably, this is a pretty good solid range build I got here. I don't, I don't know what range weapon I'd go for, though. Quickly decided against range because it, it really doesn't make any sense. The only way range would, would work is if he was going magic, but magic would also work against going magic because the whole, the whole point of magic is to stop him from using his Void Waker, and I can, like, control the fight if I freeze him and then melee him when I want to melee him, which I can't do with just range and melee. Oh, my God. Just got six more. <laughs> My inventory is filling up way too fast. What does that put me at? Let me check rude light. 18. Oh my god, that is... <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to rock it. It's filling up way too fast, guys. I'm, I'm hoping that since Link's inventory is gonna be kind of full as well, that... You know, 18 is enough. And if I could just use them sparingly to freeze here and there, maybe walk underneath him, attack him use ice splits to combo with a spec things like that I, I i i could probably make 18 work i just need a staff so we're gonna head over to undead druids um because they drop it doesn't have to be a uh water staff because i have these so it could be an earth or an air i think they drop both one in 50 so one in 25 average together they also drop three necklaces magic strength and defense all three would be applicable in the fight so let's go get a staff and pray we get it really lucky Oh my god! Five kills in! Five kills in! Okay, I want to get an amulet. I, I don't... Mm, I guess strength or magic. So between the two, it'd be one in ten. So we'll stay here. If I get the defense and I'm going a bit dry, maybe I'll just call it. But... Oh my god, okay. All right. The luck is slowly turning around. Amulet of magic. Oh, I wanted the strength. I wanted the strength. I wanted the strength. You know what? I'll just test my luck this one kill. I mean, I'm stoked. I just really would have preferred the strength, though. That's okay. I'd rather have the inventory spot. So this one will actually fill up an extra inventory. So let's pick one up. Renars, which we can't use in this challenge. Okay. 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 We're out. We're out. We got we got an Ammon Magic, and we got the Battle Staff in nine kills. Nine kills total. And we only have, what is that, 12 slots filled up only. That's actually a lot, dude. All right, I want some sort of magic gear. The more I thought about it, the more I'm probably excited about the magic amulet rather than the strength because, I mean, not that I'm going to probably try to barrage with the chain on, but with the chain off, that's plus 16 and that's enough. So I'd have to take that off in the fight. I'd probably keep the helm on uh, just for some extra defense. I mean, it depends. It's going to be so situational. You know, if he just has the Void Waker and I'm far casting, it'd probably be very easy to take off. Um, but I'm going to kill some Monk of Zamorak because they have a 1 in 20 chance to drop the top and a 1 in 20 chance to drop the bottom of the Zamorak Monk Robe set. Uh, I think I'd rather the top just because I do have that switch then and I could take it off really easily as in this to get the magic bonus that I'm looking for. Um, but of course, if I get the bottoms, I'd be pretty stoked too because I don't actually have any leg slots. I don't really know how many I'm going to try to kill here. I think if I fill up like three inventory slots, 
I'm just gonna call it because that's just so extra and and a lot of wasted food for something that I don't really think would help me out too crazy in the fight. <sighs> oh, the, the kills go so quick as well. Oh man, this is already scary. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've just been killed like three times in the matter of minutes. So I'm coming up with a new idea. We're gonna go to Great and Necreals um in the Karend castle that's because they drop a rune chain body rune boots rune full helm rune med helm all useful to me if we get the rune boots we get strength bonus as well which is really really nice we get a rune square not what i wanted to see at all that's really annoying <laughs> That's really annoying. And then a fucking another one. Back-to-back -back rune squares. All right, I couldn't stay away from the revs for too long. I, I'm, I'm back here. We are taking the Revenant Demons out. They only have 80 HP, so it's a nice little middle ground. Um, and they still do drop decent stuff. I'm looking for a super restore, to be honest. That would be huge, so we can have piety on the whole fight. Um, yeah, that's, that's sort of the plan. Ooh, Blighted Anglerfish. Lovely. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that is the jackpot. Oh, yes. You naughty, naughty thing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, You know what? I'm not even going to fill that slot. I've got one kill left and then it gets filled. I might as well not kill this. That is enough defense. And what I was talking about earlier with the, with the Void Waker spec, I don't really want a plate body on there. I'll take this defense and I'll take the rune kite we've got. And we'll leave it. Oh, that's so good. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough Vengeance Axe. I only got one Vengeance Axe. So I'm not going to bring Venge to the fight. That is unreal. Oh, I'm buzzing. I am buzzing. All right, so two more kills and I have to unlock a slot. So I think this will be my last one. Because if I killed an extra, it locks a slot off. But if i don't then it's only 14 kills here because i left the druids at an even at a nice even five so fuck it i'd rather the top like i said but i I'd, I'd rather the inventory I, I i don't even think two inventory slots were worth it honestly I, after i started killing them and i was very scared there'd be nothing to show for it fuck dude jeez deciding to call it here i I'm using way too many inventory slots here, and anything less than this it would make me want to actually throw up. The 18 ice sacks obviously suck, but the one saving grace I could have here is that Link's inventory is probably going to be half full as well, which means that 18 might actually be enough. Of course, if I am switching between the two and I'm being somewhat smart about it. The main goal, of course, is to freeze, keep a distance, probably throw in some uh, Ice Blitz, and then stack that with the special attack of the Void Waker. And of course, get bonked with the Void Waker as much as possible. If he's got melee armor, try to take it off with the Barrage, smack with the Void Waker, all, all that stuff. It, it's all going to be dependent on what he goes. May maybe he's got the same exact plan I have. Uh, maybe he's going range of the Void Waker. Maybe he's just going straight melee. I don't know, deciding to bring two Karambons here for combo eats. I didn't want to really sacrifice any more than that because the difference between an Angler and a Karambon is 4 HP. That's quite a bit. Um, you definitely need combo eats with this fucking mega spec weapon. That's going to be the biggest killer here. Um, and I might bank the restore. So you'll see in the reveal if I decide to actually bring it or not. But um, I will see you guys in the fight. All right, guys, this is going to be the setup. So we used... 11 inventory slots which i'm quite happy with i didn't want to go too crazy i was always thinking about i don't know 12 to 14 but 11 i'm more than happy with uh we're only rocking a minus three magic defense bonus which is huge really really big um then of course we've got the strength ammy for the strength i'm bringing the bracelet just so that when we do the gear reveal if he didn't go to revs he's gonna be like oh you know that's so that is purely cosmetic uh obviously a dragon plate skirt the rune kite we got first drop um and then obviously the void waker which we can take to the fight i i can't see why neither of us would take this so i think he's going to go melee as well um and then we got the anglerfish the blighted manta rays and the crown ones to fill up the inventory so didn't manage to get a super restore unfortunately or a prayer pot um, but that's okay. I'll just have to manage my prayer. Fine. I'll just flick piety. It's it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, 
let's see how this goes. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy, but I think this could still get beaten um, by me, possibly if he got a solid plate body or something like that. But I think having this food advantage plus these two is a really solid bet to try and win this fight. So let's jump into it and see if this can win. Hey, Link, how did you find that <laughs> challenge? That that was that was a very different dynamic. So how did you was, find it? It was. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'll tell you now, there was a lot of times where I was not having a lot of fun at all. You'll find out why. But... Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think I know what you mean, though, because right, okay, cool. I mean, w w was your inventory filling up a lot faster than you expected? No, <laughs> really? No, then what the I, heck were you stressed we, about? Maybe we did something really. No, no, no. I, I, it wasn't anything to do with the imagery. It was, it was to do with something else, and I was not happy. I'll tell you that. But yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I was going for one set of items, and um, let's just say we went under drop rate, and my inventory was filling up really fast. But right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, you want to call the first item? Yeah, let's do it, man. Do uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Necklace. Dude, hold on, real quick. That nervous giggle yeah. you did, I, you know, we, we've done a lot of PvP challenges. I still don't know how to read that that, that giggle. That that could be like a, I absolutely smashed this challenge, or it could be like a, I'm absolutely fucked going forward. I think it, I think that's the problem is, it's a giggle where I'm not sure what the hell is going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's... Ooh. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I got yeah, mine basically. relatively fast as well. I got mine 6 KC, so Ooh, pretty happy. I think mine wasn't that fast. I think mine yeah. was more like 9. Okay, all right, we got him there. We got him there. But magic against mage or melee, that's not good. That's not good. I'll make you feel better a little bit. Let's let's go body. I don't have a body. Ooh. Mm. Black demons. Okay. does make me feel a bit better. Black demons. Okay, the demons. Uh, let's go shield. Ooh, no shields. Okay. I got this first KC. <laughs> From what? From, uh, Revenant Hobgoblin. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. I mean, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's go helm. Let's let's see. What can... did you get the rune chain from? Black demons. Black how many demons. KC? Um, uh, no? ooh, quite a bit. I killed quite okay, a few black right. demons. Okay. Um, so I I mean, if I had to guess, like forty something KC. <laughs> okay. Alright, still still. Yeah. Not so it, ca it came at a cost. Like it came yeah, at yeah, a yeah. cost. Alright. Uh, did you say helm? Did you? Uh, yes, I did. I I don't have one. Also okay. black demons. Mm, I did also try and go for black one. Demons. I went to great and next. Uh, no shield there, or did you just? I mean, I, I guess got, that went I so did, much better. I got two rune squares. Okay, so you're not going range, and you're not going magic. Um, uh, let's go bracelet. Oh, it's in a bracelet of a thurium. I don't have one. I was gonna say bracelet. Why do we ever have bracelets in these challenges? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. none, none over here. I mean, does that give any stats? No. Oh, right. So when I, I kill I you, I just get an extra forty-three k. I was gonna right. bring it in case we weren't gonna tell each other what we got stuff from, and then you were like, "Fuck, you went to rev sort of thing." That was the reason. But yeah. right, 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 right. But you already know, so yeah. Legs. The uh, the jewel to my crown here, Kins. The jewel. It's D legs. Or, or D skirt. I mean, hey, nice knees there, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm. Oh, <laughs> ooh, this is. <laughs> is that just a? I need something for the magic, or is it, oh, I don't know what. I don't doing know, here. Link. Do you think I would have wasted inventory slots to get oh, a plus two know. magic? I don't know. <laughs> or plus two prayer? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Kins. I got nothing else, and obviously I'm gonna bring. Obviously, the void. have that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't, you're a fucking nutcase, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Completely. That um, is my setup. I have something else. Uh, he's gonna be like fucking freezing me. I'm. Uh, <laughs> and I got What's that. that Tangles. Some blighted ancient ice sacks. 
Ah, uh, right. I only got two. Dude, I I wasted probably about like fucking ten inventory slots just trying to get eighteen of them. <laughs> so I don't wow. know if it was worth it. Dude, I got like the rune full helm and an Addy plate body with like five inventory slots or something. And I was like, right. do I just go in the fight with this? I'm like, it's a yeah, solid yeah, setup. Yeah, I can get like a full yeah, inventory yeah. of food. But it just seemed really lame, and I, I, I had a plan, I had a vision, and I was like, I'm gonna see through it. This really will... See, uh, th th this I... is the most important factor. I think I've done well here, kids, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna regret it. <sighs> Alright, we, we have the Void Waker. Oh, he just... So, so you have no... Yeah, you have no switches, no pops, Nothing. it looks like. Oh my no. god. Uh, he's just okay, going like okay. the brute force method well, here. Well, dude, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I had the setup that you've just seen, and I was like, do I really want to start messing with this, you know? Yeah, that scares me. That scares me. Okay, I really tried to get a super restore or prayer pot, and I just couldn't. It just didn't happen, so that's a bit annoying. You got to give um, me something else. <laughs> okay, I'll give you something else. Oh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're doing this slowly. <laughs> okay. Just All torturing right. ourselves here. Oh my god, he's gonna help me. <laughs> See, I hate you so much. I, I think you're just toying with me. That's all I got. Okay. That's all uh, I got. That's all I've got. So oh, only a little okay. bit more. Only a little bit more. Yeah, but I, dude, I use three inventory slots on just That's shit true. that isn't food. Oh my god, I'm nervous for this fight. <laughs> dude, it's the Void Waker. I just, yeah. one of us is gonna get decked out, bro. I know it. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Oh, That's he's going for the specs right away. That's not good. Oh, my XP drops are off. Oh my god. Just eat. Nice. Oh, I'm not gonna go for the back to back, I don't think. The combo, the combo saved me there. Yeah. <sighs> it's good spec though. Yeah, solid. Way better than my 17. Like, ugh, do I take stuff off? That Void Waker is just so dangerous. Oh, man. This is hard to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I tried that. Oh, it was way too late there. You only expect once, right? I don't expect you to actually answer that question, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is not good. This is really bad, guys. This is really bad. Uh, fuck. My barrage isn't as, you know, accurate as I... I already have minus three. Oh, fuck. Sorry. It's all good. It's that all good. Just complete... Oh, yep. Saw that coming. Saw that coming. <laughs> saw that coming. <laughs> He's fuck. He's got more. <laughs> the food. train. The oh, train. Oh no, dude. The train. Oh no. Attack. Oh, for fuck's sake, he keeps catching that. Defense. 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 Fuck. Oh, is he out? Oh my, oh my god, god, he's oh out. My... Just eat, Rog. Oh eat, god. eat, eat. Don't eat, Rog. Don't, don't eat. <laughs> Just get him down. Just get him down. Please, for I the love gonna of God. Void Waker. I'm going to lose the Void Waker. It's please, going. please, for the love of God, just kill him. Pick it. Pick please. It. No. I just got my spec back. I'm out. Tick. I'm out too. No, I'm, I'm going to pick it up and run. The CC knows I just <laughs> yoinked 200 <laughs> mil from you. I'm out, Link. Okay. I'm out, I'm out, I'm safe. Secure the void waker, that's all that matters. <laughs> Yo, I 